69 beetle chassis this particular one we're doing today is going to be a stock build Hello classic Volkswagen enthusiasts, my name is Pete and I'm your friend here at Aircooled. We specialize in classic Volkswagen drivetrain, including this chassis we're working on today. The chassis has just arrived back from strip and sandblast and we're going to show you the details on what we found. Alright, so she's back from Sandblast. She looks pretty good. We found our hole. Got to do some bending here, fixing. That thread is still good, so that was the one with the missing bolt. No dents or anything here. Do some massaging here. We'll take this layer off keep this piece everything on this side is good I have a slight indentation right here Let's see if we can't get that out but otherwise she looks good I'm really kind of excited to see what's in here so we're gonna get a pry bar and we're gonna bend this down and see what happened cable split or broken and they braced it to the wall that's about it so uh, we're gonna cut this out and we'll add a couple more brackets there uh, since it's reinforced and uh, take it from there all right looking at the bottom Oh, you guys can see that. It's a pretty sizable dent. Yeah. Let's see what we can do to get rid of that. A little bit of a dent right there, too. A couple there, too. I don't want to do the whole spine. I'm going to see what we can do to remedy a majority of this a little chingus there see if we can't get that out I bet this uh, oh. I bet this was lifted with a forklift or something somewhere in its life but none of the legs are broken in fact so have all the parts here laid out that we got back from sandblast and chemical strip put some new bushings up here clean up this lower shock mount on the bottom kind of do an overall cleanup on these there was nothing crooked or bent on these so it's just an easy easy cleanup um, everything on this as well a little cleanup on that shock mount. Going to get all the dingus berries off of that. So those are good. Probably straighten this out. I don't know if you see the taper in that. Just kind of open it up so it's easy for installation. Uh, this one looks good. I'll probably have everything to do with that missing 
pivot bolt, as you can see, that's kind of cockeyed, has some stretch marks. Sorry, ladies. Uh, a little bit of a dent there. Get that out. are good to we'll reinforce the welds make sure you can have another long happy life so we're gonna get joey back on this and we're gonna start doing uh the top side first and uh you get to watch Thank you. 
Spirit Sword Army, the hats are in, they look stylish. Even me, this absurdly ugly looking dude can look pretty fresh with this new air-cooled hat. We have them in stock for a limited time. You can even get this shirt that kind of hides the little, you know, comes in all the popular sizes, large to 3X for those 3X boys. We got them, they're stylish. You need one, support the pros. We appreciate it. Links in the description. All right, so you just got done watching Joey do his magic, what Joey does. And we're actually going to clean this square up. And then we have a core chassis tunnel that we're going to then cut out this part to replace it. But we're going to do, uh, we're gonna make some reinforcement brackets for inside here. Um, but you're gonna see me uh, just basically stencil out what we were going to uh, um, cut out so that it's a crisp, clean rectangle. And kind of go from there. Separated in the bottom, so we're gonna drill some holes in. FedEx comes in here and announces he's here. We're gonna drill some holes, and then we're gonna get sandwich these down into it. Uh, so before we start doing any uh, reinforcement as far as cutting this, and I don't know if you can see, there's a slight dent here that we're gonna get out. Uh, probably start doing that now. <laughs> 